Right there, I cancelled LeBlanc's distortion with my, uh, rock dick. Cause, uh, yeah, you can do that. Get fucked. Alright, I'm gonna commentate my support trundle play from now on. Maybe you can learn a trick or two. Uh... Gee, they look kinda low. What the fuck? Alright, so right here I'm gonna go bot. Because I need to secure my AD's position in the lane before I go and roam. Doing that, fuh. Really good. I think you're pretty delicious. What the? You're oh, a delicious ass. little boy. What? <laughs> Yo, take it up with HR, dude. No confrontations here at TSM. Come to me there. Okay, I'm gonna shield you. Come to me, come to me. Oh shit. Dennis? Down, 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 down. What? You just You just fucking jumped away from my shield! You just ulted as soon as I was in shield range! Dennis. I spot the jungler doing wraiths, so I ping his position on the map in case someone else is not looking at the mini map. I can tell that Alistar wants to Q flash on us right now because as Trundle was exiting the wraith camp, he was going towards his bottom side. Likely he's doing his golems, after which he will be looking for a bot lane gank. So, we're playing conservatively. Alistar keeps trying to walk up aggressively, making it an easy tell that Kha'Zix is waiting behind. Wait, why am I so squishy? Oh! Unfortunately, we got fucked by top lane TP advantage. My pink ward is in a good position, so I won't replace it just yet. But I have another one in my inventory, just in case. I can see that my mid laner is pressuring hard because the enemy LeBlanc, already a character that traditionally has low wave clear, is low on mana. So I'm gonna help him secure this mid turret and I can get a ward in the mid lane, which is really beneficial. I'm blocking skill shots for my victor. Now because Ezreal is mid, I'm gonna rotate to the bot lane, as there's likely nobody defending this turret. We know that Rumble has no TP, so only Alistar can be down here, as every other member in the game is shown on the map. So we're gonna get another free turret here, and then I can get another deep lane ward, which should mean that in 2 minutes and 30 seconds when the Infernal Drake spawns, we can likely secure it, and secure our team an 8% bonus to a attack damage and ability power. Since I'm out of wards and our mid and bottom lane are both pushed in, I'm going to go back to replenish my- oh wait, hang on. I'm commentating! I'm teaching them how to play Trundle. I'm gonna tank.
Alright, get the fuck- Oh, wait. It's a base race, kind of. Just a turret trade. Looking at the enemy's team composition, they have a very strong rumble, a character that traditionally does very high ability power damage in an AoE team fight. So, I'm going to go Locket of the Iron Sorel Solari in order to protect my team better. I'm also building it because Graves is traditionally a jungler that doesn't have Locket in his build path. Right there, we all fucking died. But at least I got my Aegis now. We're healing off Fiora's grand challenge. This is surely a great fight for us. I'm popping my sweeper preemptively because I know that LeBlanc's clone passive puts her in stealth as well as reveals Kha'Zix in his stealth. I'm gonna flash over the wall and get the fuck out of here. Nice. Uh, right there, we fucked them. I really take Baron out of so my teammates that deal more damage than me can deal more damage to the Baron because Baron uh, reduces your damage that you deal to it by 50%. Then I'm gonna base. Then I'm gonna buy CDR. I remember when I was like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> hey guys, nobody's calling missing on their. F nobody's calling missing on their spots level one. You guys trolling? You can come watch my spot. Mm.